Ukrainian armed forces destroyed a rare Russian radar station expert. Ukrainian military political observer Alexander Kovalenko suggests that on May the 22nd, in the temporarily occupied part of the Donetsk region near the settlement of Mospino, the Ukrainian defense forces managed to destroy a rare radar station of the Russian invaders, the All Altitude 96L-6E. More and more pleasant and joyful clarifications on the S-400 division destroyed in Mospino. Along with the launchers, a rare radar station was destroyed, the all-altitude detector 96L-6E, Kovalenko wrote in Telegram. According to him, this radar station independently provides the functionality of the entire division and, incredibly, even at the regiment level. The analyst explains that one S-400 division normally requires 91N-6E, and three per regiment. And there's also the 92N2E control radar or, if possible, the 96L6E all-altitude radar. No, 96L6E, I'll decide everything. The result in real combat use? By the way, today the S-400 is in service with China, Turkey, India. What can I say? Congratulations on the successful acquisition of the best air defense in the world wrote Kovalenko. The alleged strike on the target in Mospino was also reported by activist and blogger Sergei Stenenko. Probably the same ATA CMS attack on a Russian air defense system near the village of Mospino on May the 22nd, he said. Let us remind you that on May the 23rd, information appeared that the Ukrainian military carried out successful strikes on Russian air defense positions in the Donetsk region. In particular, according to the Telegram channel Spy Dossier, on the afternoon of May the 22nd, a successful strike was carried out on positions in the area of the Mospino airfield, which is located in the occupied part of the Donetsk region. The attack allegedly involved five ATA CMS ballistic missiles. It was noted that two launchers of the S-300-400 anti-aircraft missile systems, a control center and a radar station 96L6E were destroyed, and another launcher of the S-300-400 air defense system was damaged. According to the channel, there were no casualties among personnel.